guys, it's Queen Mija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 13 of Star Twinkle Pretty Here. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Honestly, I really wish this show would continue coming out on Saturdays. I'm not Saturdays, Sundays. What the hell am I talking about? Like, it's really irking me that I go to bed and then I wake up, and then by the time I wake up, Maybe even hours before, because I woke up at like 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning. And boom, it's out. Why are you waiting until freaking Monday? I just have to get my anger out with that, because I really don't like that. Because I'm more, I'm not as busy as I am on a Sunday than Monday. Well, I'm glad she wants to go to school. Hell, I was like, I ate. <laughs> and I was like, alright, I'm gonna eat. And then I'm gonna watch Pretty Care. And I cut to get them out. And then eventually later on, I was gonna watch k -On and Girls Last Door. I'm tired after eating. Like, you know when you eat really good food? Especially if it's like, because I had barbecue food last night. And it was so good. And so I ate it for lunch. And I was just like, Oh, I'm sleepy. I don't want to do anything. I was like, damn, that's sad. <laughs> like, really sad. But I was like, no, I need to get it done because I kept debating. I was like, nah, I can record them today, but then release them tomorrow. Um, like, before, sometime after Overlord and stuff. And then I was like, no. I was like, some people might get upset with me about the fact that I'm releasing it like two days after the shows come out. So I was like, huh, fuck it, let me do it today. I was like, I can get this and I get to done back to back and then release them at the same time, like, kind of. And then, um, wait, like, later on tonight, probably about, like, 7, 8-ish to watch k and Girls Last Door, because I ain't doing that shit tomorrow. I got something else to do tomorrow. I gotta watch the last three episodes of Origami tomorrow. <laughs> You know you don't need that. Mm -hmm. Leave it there. You don't need it. Oh, is she gonna wear it? Nah. Awesome. Of course. See, like, just like that. All judging her.
unfortunately. Um, yeah. I don't care. Shut up. No, thank you, Hime. Oh, God. You know, artificial intelligence? Must be a research. A research. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? <coughs> <coughs> yeah. See, and then it makes you wonder, like, what she was taught. Like, one day there needs to be an episode where she goes back home and she takes the girls with her. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, an AI will tell you everything, but it's better if you learn things hands-on. Like, you know, when an AI tells you everything, 50 out of 50, you're not going to remember every single little detail. And they're running in the hallways? Of course. Honey, it's just your first day. You might do some things wrong, but it's okay. You want to help clean? I mean, okay, look, you, you take that in. Remember, you don't have it at that back of the rocket. Just ask for help, honey. Ask for help. She's going to do it the wrong way. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. You could have just asked, honey. Voila! And she ran off.
so much for having a good first day. I mean, but usually, like, for anyone who comes to a new school, 50 out of 50, their first day isn't always the best. Hell, not even the first week. She has it this time. Ohio. Now she's just trying to be normal and fit in. I feel bad for her though. Cause she's, I mean, she's still standing out, but not in a way that you would automatically think she would. She's not being interesting or not weird. Just, she's just normal. Even on your first day, first week? Yes, it is. Why are you trying so hard to be normal? You can still be that and, you know, normal, like an earthling. No, you don't. That and then the fact that you wanted to be with the rest of the girls, right? Of course, Kappa, 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 Bana. <laughs> what are we going to do? Play soccer today? me it's just to me and let me say this because i am probably going to say it again at the end of the episode 
when she's there, like her first two days, her first day was just meh. And then her second day, it's like, okay, let me think outside of the box. Let me not be who I want to be. And I mean, school, that's what school's really about. Be who you want to freaking be. If you speak a different language, speak a different language. I mean, you know, you're still like, the person that you want to be and if people are going to judge you for that and look at you like weird and differently just because you say certain way certain things the way you talk the way you dress anything they're going to judge you for that and i understand because that's really what this episode is about it's literally everyone being um judgmental of her and just like trying to pick every little good thing about her down until she's not confident about herself and then this is just going to rebuild her confidence especially with the fact that the four of them all came to school together and you know he kind of didn't have to do that like that was just something i'm just saying baby i mean it's kind of happened with like maybe every new cure who decides to come to school I mean, heck, if we had an episode on freaking all of those where the freaking three middle school students went to high school with mom and dad, technically the four middle school students, even though CL came in last, CL had like kind of a good experience, but not everyone's going to have a good school experience. I mean, did like freaking hot time, best girl have a better experience? I think she did. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to go back and look at the episode where she finally went to damn school. Nice. It's all your fault. Yeah, I think when he meant strange, like, he didn't mean it in a bad way. It was mostly, like, in a interesting way like i mean because i've met people say that to other people say like oh hey yeah you're strange but like in a good way we're like okay Oh, so that's what it's going to do. So instead of what's your face literally taking a dark pen, drawing the cute little dark heart that I like so much, she's li- he- they're literally having the dark pen, I mean, the dark hearts come out of them. Okay. Interesting. So then it makes me wonder, like, the woman who sound like what's her face in Hugato, um, what the heck is she going to have? And I'm guessing she's not going to come back until next week. Because it's the place where kids learn. And it's so important to her. Unlike you. Oh. Oh. I still kind of want the one. I don't know, because like, I haven't seen it on Amazon yet. I've seen some other things on Amazon, but like, it's pretty. It's cute. 
I'd rather have that than like I, I mean I like the locket. But there's like I think just to get all the dang things you're gonna buy so many extra stuff with it. I'm like, hmm. I'd rather just have the one. Really? 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 We literally do in like a la mode. Where he's not gonna get <laughs> It was first. What are you gonna get in the cake? It is now what are you going to get in the giant star? That's what it is. Are you serious? What the heck is going <laughs> Why? See? He wasn't saying it to be mean. He thinks it's interesting. Papa do apologize. My God, that's so freaking precious. I mean, if you don't ship them to already, like right there, that was shipping. But but as I was saying, like really, she just has to be herself, and it's just judgmental people. And then eventually, in the end, you know, he came and he said, you know, I liked fa the fact that you said loon. It's different than someone talking regular. And now they're all calling her loon. So Lala, interesting. I mean, it was a good episode. I like the fact that it focused on her. We might get... Who was, no, last week was all four of them. So this week's with Lala. Next week might be... Um, Madoka? Elena? And then finally, he got it? Maybe? I mean, did I have problems with this episode? Kind of. Like... Mm, but I can't really name them. There were some things that, like, just didn't feel natural. Like, okay, what's her face? The girl who doesn't like Madoka. She just, I don't know why, but, like, every single time when I see her, only when she's now maybe, now in the school selection um, scene, she doesn't seem, like, she doesn't fit well with it. I mean, she's only there for Madoka's storyline. And... Monica's not in the same classroom as her, so then why does she need to be like, okay, if you need any help, come to me, because she's trying to do everything that Monica does. It's like, no, girl. Okay, it's only in this episode. All right. But, hmm, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know. But I mean, it, it's a good episode, but then I feel like there are certain characters like the girl who doesn't like Madoka, and then maybe anyone else. Maybe even this guy right here, because he just got introduced in this episode. But it's gonna be like several freaking episodes later. Like, I, I could say 25, and then we'll never see him again. We'll have some scenes that will focus in school, but not everything's gonna be focused in school, because they have to go outside of school, go into space, do go things and do things in town. And then like it's gonna be like next week if we're focusing on Elena's family, this is now what, the second or third episode that we've really focused on her family? Like are we going to we saw a lady and I'm assuming that's her mother. Are we going to possibly I don't I think they answered the question on her dad. I'm not really sure though. But that could be more focused on next week. But it's just like I I like what I liked about Hugato and then a la mode is that they did give certain characters who were not as important as the main cures, like, um, character P, not only character VLP, but character, like, um, development. And I just, I think with, like, these characters that are coming up next, and by the time we get to the halfway point, 
of this show, which is like a couple, but probably not even about like October. I want to say maybe like summer-ish, like when we're like halfway through summer. I'm thinking that's when we're, we'll get to the halfway point of this show. That's when we're going to see about who they care about a lot and who they don't care about, who they care about the least. Like I can use um something, I'm going to use something as an example. Um, for, like, some of my subs who have seen I Cut To, I Cut To Stars, or even I Cut To Friends. Like, I'm gonna use I Cut To Stars, for example. There was this character named Akko, and she was hella important in season one. Now, I know, we all know that, like, Pretty Cure shows, they only have one season, despite, like, OG seasons, like, they had either two. But, it's, like, what they do is we get to a certain amount of episodes. Sometimes I feel like the creators, like, People at Tole Animation, they'll go, like, on the internet, anyone who's talking about Pretty Cure, whether it's, <laughs> it'd be funny if they're looking at me. Hi, how you doing? Um, they could be looking at me, they could be looking at someone else, they could be looking at posts on Twitter, um, Instagram, or even Tumblr, and being like, okay, well, they don't really like this character a lot, because currently, possibly, as of right now, they're still editing and recording episodes, even till today. I'm guessing by the time we get to, like, maybe mid-ish October, they should be done with the whole entire series, getting uh, um, getting ready for the next series. They'll possibly go and they'll look to see who seems important to people and who doesn't seem important to people. Because, like, Akko, as I said from My Cut Two Stars, in season one, she was heck of, like hella important to the plot and the story of it. But thing I, I think at the same time, when I went to go look at some posts about her, not a lot of people really gave a crap about her. So I'm guessing um, the people who do I cut to, which is Bandai, they looked and saw it and they were like, oh, okay. And they also looked at these little kids and stuff and talked to them possibly. And they just determined that Akko wasn't going to get a lot of screen time. And they're not doing it with these four because we're only 13 episodes in as of right now. And I feel like, yes, we know as much as we need to know about these girls, but slowly but surely, we're getting ready to learn more and more about them each and every single week. But then when you're looking at other characters, it's like, okay, I feel like I don't know anything about her family. I feel like I know nothing about um, this side character, this side character, this side character. With, like, Hagato, um, freaking... Homade, not Homade. Uh, oh, shit, I forgot her name. Mm. Mother Effer. Main cure. Pink one. I forgot her name. Literally having a brain fart right now. Her. Her sister, um, Katori, barely had screen time. She barely had character development. I mean, you know, the <laughs> my yaoi, my yaoi boys, my boys love had more, like, character development than she did. And, it, and it's a little, like, effed up about that. And it's like, okay, why? I mean, like, they're like, okay, no, I think this character is important. And that's what I feel like they're doing. I mean, these are, these are the episodes where they're, like, testing the waters about certain characters and if, like, everyone likes them. And then by the time we get to maybe 20, 20, 20 to 25, going on to the second half of this series, they're gonna be like, okay, these, the, like, um, the audience didn't like this character or this character or this character. So we're just going to make them a background character, even though they're already a background character, but they're not going to say anything. That's just my little two cents that I want to say. But yeah, we'll see by episode 25 if my little rant is real. But 50 out of 50, it might be. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to this episode 13 of Star Twinkle Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next time for episode 14. Bye, guys.